everybody, Marie here. I hope you're doing great today. So today I am share starting to do a new journal. This is going to be a fall themed journal. This is by Joey Cardmaker and it's called Autumn Folk. And I wanted to show you what comes with the kit. So all of the front sheets come with the kit and the back I have printed some coffee dyed or tea dyed papers and they're different on each one. I'll show you each one. And I will try to remember to link both, but again, you guys know I'm awful at that. Anyhow, so this just, I, I don't do uh, seasonal as good as I'd like. Like, I don't make them as often as I'd like. And so this year I thought, okay, at least I'm going to try to get in one fall and one Christmas. And anyway, here we go. So this is the Joey card maker. It's, it spoke to me. It's so cute. And then, so here's the back. And I just, yeah, I'm not a big fan of white space in my journals. I like to cover it as much as possible. And he just made a beautiful collection, or fun, I should say, and beautiful. Okay, and the leaves, pumpkins. Oh, I want to show you the back too with this. I have a few different now um, coffee stained tea dyed printables that I like using. that guy with some mushrooms. Now I think it's only 10 sheets of paper, so I'm gonna add some of my own and I'm gonna look for a few other printables like on Creative Fabrica or the Graphics Fairy to add in. Okay, and that is the last of the regular sheets. Right away and then we have a lot of ephemera and embellishments so I did back a lot of these as well so like on these it's nice to have something already on the back or I could add tea dye paper which looks great too but these you don't need it so much but it's there so same with here like you don't need it on these but on these it would look nice and you've got some tabs here okay I love this little family it's so cute Okay, then you got these pockets and this guy, love the tabs, little banners. Then you got this and this, most of these will be going through my scan and cut because I am not sitting here fussy cutting all these. But something like this, obviously super easy to just get your trimmer and boom, boom. Not worth setting the scan and cut up for these. Okay. Very fun, very pretty. Love this one. There we go, here's this guy. Just the colors are so fun, so fun. Okay, there's this guy, nice big pocket. And then you have the little paper that can go in it, it's so cute. Here's the back of that one that I did. And then here's these envelopes, and you got the little stamp postage and the little seals there is the back of that and then last but not least we've got this so then i pulled a few of my own things i have a tea dyed envelope that i'm gonna try to throw in just a nice regular piece of tea dyed paper i have some oh oh painted book page okay nice okay and some let's see this is both jelly printed. I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not, but I might. So I thought I'd pull them out. And then a handmade paper, a faux handmade paper. And I just thought the colors went. And that's just on, I think it's 24 pound paper. And then it was tea dyed and then I did this. So that is what I have so far for this journal. I am gonna go ahead and cut it all out. I am gonna look on Creative Fabrica and the Graphics Fairy and see what I might wanna to add to it. And then I'll be back to craft with you guys. Hey everybody, Maria here. Hope you are doing great today. And so I'm back working. This is the next day and I'm starting to work on this journal more. I got all of my ephemera cut apart and it's in these envelopes and stuff. Found a few odd bits that might work in this journal. I am thinking of using, sorry if you see things move around my, Big beautiful cat beans is up here. This fabric, obviously this isn't the whole piece, but this fabric for the cover, and then maybe this for the inside or vice versa, we'll see. 
but I thought I could maybe use this on some of my embellishments or something or tag toppers or we'll see but these are potentials and um, then I have these are gonna probably be my pages mostly and then I have extras so I have some stuff from the graphics fairy that I can use in there to make embell you know um, ephemera this is from um, these bright beautiful pages are from Oh, I just signed up with them because I thought it'd be great because I, I got a glow for Dora and I'm not going to subscribe to their service. It's just too expensive, but I thought getting files and stuff would be great from what's well, the place everybody loves. And you guys are all screaming at me probably, but I can't remember their name right now. And then these are from the graphics fairy. These are some washi strips that I just printed on paper and then some more pieces that I thought we could use as like maybe just to tuck in and stuff. So that's where I'm at with that so I thought I'm gonna start by putting my signature together to start oh yeah you know what those fabrics would be good for fabric flips too especially if they match the cover that would be fun all right so we've got our envelope got a few little bits I turned these into what will be like upper tucks and lower tucks or lower pockets here all right and then just a normal piece here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this here or not. Then you've got all that came with the kit. Then my handmade paper. And this was the jelly prints. And what I did is I just kind of glued it together and then made it a big pocket. And this is, okay, this is more jelly paper and this, I'm not gonna use this as part of the album there. All right, so I'm trying to think how I wanna do this. And then there's another envelope in here. That's a big one, kind of. This one, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. That might be fun to put in the actual album. So we'll see. So I do want that to be my first page. I think I'm gonna do this as a single signature book. So we'll do that as the first page. And I don't know if you saw originally, but so you have a sunflower page of lines and journaling or picture spot and then and all over. And then you have the, it's that with each. So you have a shroom, a pumpkin. Let's see here what's after the pumpkins. Leaves. And then that's it. Oh, here's another one of these. Okay, so let's do first page what, do we, what theme do we want to go with next let's go with the mushrooms and then let's go with this guy let's go with the next mushrooms then let's go leaves and then let's go this guy and then the other leaves Okay, but what am I gonna want to be the center? Oh, maybe I'll do the envelope as the center. Oh, my cat sees something over here. What is it, beans? What do you see, silver beans? <laughs> All right, then let's do one of these pretty ones here, this one here. All right, and then what's next? Oh, this one is gonna be my cover. All right, and then guess let's do this one. Oh, that's way too big. I'm gonna have to cut that down, but I can get to that in a minute. I forgot to cut him down. And then, hmm, hmm, silver. He's playing with my glue book. He's playing with my glue book. <laughs> He's so silly. Um, I guess we can do pumpkin. And then this. And then this has just got a little fold out, and I might want to do more of that, but we'll see. And we'll do the other pumpkin. And then we'll do this envelope. Go that way. Do you want to go that way on this one? Yeah, and then the other one can go the other way. Okay, and then we'll do these leaves. And then, so we'll do this one. No. Okay, I do want to break up the sunflowers a little bit. So let me do this. And then this. And then this. 
this. Actually, I'm going to do this that way. Okay, and then this. And then, which way was that other envelope? That way, so we want that one to go that way. And then I think I want to also do, oh, you know what, let's switch. Let's just do that, and we'll do that. Okay, so that's what we've cut so far. You know, I'm gonna cut this down and I will be right back because I also wanna check something on my All right, let's see what we have so far. So we, this is our cover. One, two, three, and that's a pocket. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, I want one more probably since it's 19 that's so weak I mean you know just to have it at 19 not 20 and I'm not sure if I love the tea dyed paper so let's look in our pile over here and see what might be more fun oh that is printed on the back that could just be fun to throw in there sideways like that for 20th and then I print on the back of anything else. That's printed on the back. That is, I don't want more of these leaf ones. They're just, I love them, but they're a little bright, and so I just want to keep it minimal. And I, I can put stuff on the back of a one that's not printed on. Um, do I think that this would fit in the seam? Let's take a peeky. Yeah, why, it's a house. There's a lot of houses. Why not? Let's grab our ruler. And go for it. Okay, that's pretty solid. We, oh, that's pretty. We can use that for something. Okay. So I'm going to, let's see, can I, how far can I? Just want to kind of, that work? That works. And do that. Put that guy here. Okay. I'm gonna take this tea dye paper out. Don't worry, I'll use it on something else or back for backing or something, but I just didn't like it there. And then let's see where I can throw this guy here, I think, because it seems a little plain on plain. Yep, let's do that. With the envelope. And that color matches nice. That color matches nice. All right. Fun. Okay. I did round the corners on this. Sometimes I just like to do that. And I'm trying to think. I, I might want to sew around the edge of this. But I will do that off camera if I do. I don't think I'm going to sew on the edges of any of these pages. Specifically, unless I sew something to them. Okay. All right. Sorry, just flipping through one more time. I want to do the corners on this. Sorry if I bump you. I'm having to film like I'm my I with on my iPad. Like I said, for me it's the other day now. It's probably the same video though, because I'm going to be attaching it. All right. So there's that. So let me go to the other side of that. And I want to do it on the house one too. All right. So how are you guys doing? How's your weekend going? Mine is going swell. A little sad though, my middle son just went off to college and I already miss him. He is such a sweetheart. He makes me so happy. So that one's okay there. 
It's nice to have such joy in your kids. And I do, all three of my boys and my sweet husband. Okay, there we go. All right, so then the other side of that. Sorry for the banging. I absolutely adore the new coffee and tea dyed printables I got. Sorry, that is my alarm to feed my puppy. He can wait a few minutes though. He's not a puppy, he's an old man. Um, but my son is out of town right now. Okay, we'll just get the scissors. And my oldest one, and he usually feeds the dog. But I am doing it while he's gone. Okay. He is sleeping right now anyway, so no worries. All right, so that is our basic signatures. And we will, of course, change up some things in the sense of adding and putting some flip outs and stuff like that. Uh, so what is next? We could do some uh, ephemera. I did find this, which I think will look nice in there. I'm gonna bump this so many times, I just know it. And this, which I'm gonna put some cards in. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? All right, well, you know what? Let's start with, with, let's start with putting this guy together. I'm going to use, I think this time around, my darker brown, my brown espresso, because it's already browns and oranges to begin with. So it's going to need a little bit darker color in general to bring out some highlights. This is another Rachel at Roxy Creations weekly challenge fold. Okay. And this is also from the Graphics Fairy printable. So all you do is you take your paper and then in half, bear, not quite in half, and then tuck this piece under here and I'm gonna glue it. And then you got a pocket here, and a pocket here, and a pocket here. And then when you glue it down, you can glue it down flat or make another pocket. So let's glue down this guy. All right, so let's start with that. All right, and then we need our art glitter glue. And then we need some little ephemera pieces to put in it. So let's see, how do I want to glue this? I think I just want to put, you could glue top and bottom, make it side to, but I think I'm just going to put something on the bottom here and make it more of an open pocket. And I need to move more this way, sorry. I'll get the hang of it. And you could glue right here too if you wanted. Not going to do it though, not yet. Maybe later. All right, so and this one's already made. I just stamped with brown ink on there, and this is just a tag I had in my collection. And then this is just some fun paper from book page. Oh, let me ink up the book page. Let's do that. Okay. And I will ink up the tag as well. And there we go. And then let's let us find some stuff in our stuff, in our goodies. Okay. So I do have a bunch of this type of ephemera that we could put some on there, but I would think that orange flower looks nice on its own and I might do a label. And let's see, what do we have here? These will be too small. It's a there's a tab. Oh, you know what? A tab could look good on there. So a tab, the four tabs here. One of these could look nice on the top. Like the top back here. Oh, I didn't cut those apart. That's silly. Let's see what color looks best. Not the yellow. Oh yeah, I like that one. So we'll put a tab on the top. And what else? 
Sorry, I'm a super slow crafter. I hesitated at wanting to, I want to do this beginning to end with you guys as much as I can. And I hesitated because I am such a terribly slow crafter. But you know what? I'm going to do my best. Okay, so we have a pile of tags here. These big ones will be too big. These ones are nice. Ooh, how, look how cute that is in there. Ooh, I love them. It's so big. Oh, I don't know. Because I want to use the tab. This one's nice. Oh, that's nice in there. Okay, yes, yes, like. Um, too big. Let's just keep that one for now for as far as these go. That's fine. We don't have to only use tags. Alright, so we've got this and this. We need a couple more things at least. I have, okay, those are stamps. Oh, a stamp could maybe look fun on here, huh? My front, what about that? Or a heart. These are all part of the collection. I am not sure. Let's see here. This one's nice. This one's nice. I kind of like that one. It's a little busy though. Maybe not a stamp, maybe. Well, not pumpkin pie. Thankful. Thankful's good. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna have to get a little tray. So I don't have to dump it on the desk every time. All right, so we're gonna do thankful and great, I'm sorry, grateful and this, and then we need some more things to tuck in. Did that. So not this, I don't think. This is all this one's all pockets. And I need to label these, don't I? Fantastic. I see I can see I'm gonna have to go into my other stash too. So then we've got some of these guys. What about this? Yep, we'll put that in there with that. And then also I'm gonna do, uh, oops, one of these, but a small. Yeah, let's see here, that one, that one's fine. All right. So I need to get my punch. I do not know if I'm gonna be able to do this beginning to end on camera because I am so, 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 so slow. All right, so let's ink. 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 And then we need some kind of ribbon or trim for our tags. Okay, so let's put this to let's put this on here. And I did cut almost everything on my scan and cut and it did a pretty good job. You know, some things it can't read right because there are too too many dark colors in a spot and so it reads them as lines. And that's okay. Yeah, it did a really great job. So I gotta make sure I get, oh, sorry, I left something out. I gotta make sure I get that in the back layer. Okay, and then we'll put some down here. And then we'll put that down. Okay, that's cute. Put this over here, and then we're gonna put our grateful down at the bottom. And then we'll put this in the front where we can see it. It's gonna go down some and let me do that. And then we need some kind of, <sighs> what do you call it? 
topper. So I'm going to go with some brown twine. That's enough for both of them, I think. So I'll probably jump around a lot as to what I make, whether it's uh, ephemera or working, like putting things in the journal or all that goodness. And I'm hoping I can clear out my iPhone storage and make it better soon. That's like a top goal. It's just that when I make long videos, there's just not room. I, I cleared out a lot of my pictures, but still, it's just, you know, it's a few years old and that's just how they get. All right, and so this can go here and here. I still want something to put in the back here and it can be something small and easy. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to want to put things in the journal until I actually make a whole bunch more now that I'm thinking about it so that they actually, you know, go where they belong. Um, what do I have in this pile? I wonder, do I have anything that can go? Just something I could maybe fold up and put in there. Maybe one of these. Maybe do that. Might be too big, but we'll start with tearing it down. I, like I said before, I just don't make a lot of fall or Christmas um, journals. I tend to stay in more general kind of themes and so um, I don't have a ton of ephemera for these things so if I do that and then we'll do that um, we should have a nice little piece of ephemera that we can stick right oh there Okay, so that is one little cute chunky piece of ephemera that we have done. This one was already done and we're gonna use it. So there's two pieces to put in the book. All right, and I guess we want, let's see. Our book is 20 pages and I want to have at least, gosh, I wanna have at least seven or eight on each side. And then I have to fill pre-existing pockets. Like I have to have something big for here on each side. So that's two for that. And then I have uh, two envelopes. And then I have the... But I can just fill some of this with tags that we already have. Um, then I have these up tucks, two up tucks and two down uh, envelopes on this. So... Um, Let's look at our tags real quick for a couple of minutes. We have, I can I can craft for a few more minutes. And where are my actual tags? Let's see if there's anything I want to do to them. Okay. They're pretty. They're printed very pretty. Oh, these are not the tags. Oh, but these are journaling cards. Those are loads of fun. And so maybe I'm going to want to sew on these. And that will make them extra pretty. So let's take a look at our journaling cards since I have them. These could go on the back of something and be really cute. <laughs> a kitty. I love me some kitties. Kitties are so cute. So I don't think I'll need all of them. I think there's like 16 or 20 here. So let's pick out some we will like, and I think I will just do a straight edge stitch around them. And I'm gonna do the same with the tags, I think. At least the bigger ones. And I will do that off camera because there's no need for you guys to have to endure me doing that. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I'm gonna start with the tags. And I'm gonna wanna do it with all the peoples. Okay, so we've got these three huge ones, and this one of these each would be nice. And the uh, 
the pockets, those big long tall pockets. So for sure we want these three. And then let's see what we've got. This guy, I feel, I'm just feeling for the smaller ones. These small, okay, so we've got this guy. And I want that one, maybe, that's small. Okay, these four, these th four here. I want this one for sure. I love this, whatever the heck it is, hen maybe, chicken. Okay, I want at least one of these to go with the, those leaf pages I printed, and I think I'm gonna go with that one. And then maybe we'll need those. Um, do I want to, I don't think I wanna stitch on that, but I wanna use it. Okay, we got her. Is she the same as her? Nope, but similar. Cool. And the children. Nope, they're different. That's cool. And then the mice. So I'm going to stitch around all of those. I'm going to stitch around the owl, and I'm not going to stitch around these little ones. They're just super small. And they're all very cute, and I'm going to use all of those, but I'm not going to stitch around them. So this is a stitch pile. These can get used, but I'm not gonna stitch. So these are like secondary and these are gonna get used, but not stitched. Okay, so now let's go through this pile. Cute. Yes, I love sunflowers. They're my favorite flower. Very cute. Traditional journaling card. Oh, super cute. So I'm gonna separate first by traditional and picture. And then of course you've got your ones with no no writing lines. Oh, and the kitty rat. Cute. And then these. All right, so I'm going to put these for lines. Um, yeah, I want all these to stitch on. So those are all going to go in the stitch pile. I'm not going to stitch on the kitty cat, but we'll use him. Let's see here. I know I'm not going to use all of them, so, and yeah. This pile tends to be my less favorite for me right there. Let's see, I do love these, but I don't need to stitch on these. So these are used, but don't stitch. Love these. Yep, use and stitch. All right, so that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stitch on all of those. And just so you know, all of these already have a uh, printed background on them. So no need to add something to the back. These are gonna go in like a little reserve spot. So I know that I don't, need to use them unless I want to. Let's see, those are die cuts. Those are stamps and stuff, tabs. And, okay. and we got a big pile of, that could be a piece of something turned into ephemera. My last project I didn't use. Sorry, I'm not grabbing it well. So then these are like pockets and stuff. So these are corner tucks. And I can just, I don't know if I wanna stitch on those. I don't think so. More corner tucks. Itty bitty pockets. Yeah, I don't think I will stitch on any of this. So much cute stuff. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, two more envelopes. Okay. Oh, and then this big guy for sure. We're gonna use him. Sorry, thinking. Okay, let's, um, really quick, let's put our envelopes together. I know I will use this one for sure, and possibly both of these, but at least one of these. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, let's just put these together really quick. Do you want to get out my scoreboard? Just get some stuff going. So that the next time I am on... Hello, Silver Beans. Um, we can... Keep it moving. All right, we'll go this way. I have a line on my scoreboard so I can just line up from top to bottom without having to be actually uh, hitting the top of it. Where is my, there it is, scoring tool. Okay, so right there. Okay. What's up, my friend? Who's my good boy? Yeah. All right, so we've got that one scored. You know, I'm not going to glue them yet, though. I'm just gonna get them all scored. 
because I might want to attach one of them onto a page and that could be fun. Sorry, focusing. And this scoreboard is a Gemini uh, Crafter's Companion scoreboard. And one of the things that I love about this scoreboard is its ability to easily make boxes. They do come in a bigger size as well. They come in the 12 by 12 size. Um, sorry, give me a quick second and I'll tell you what I love. Uh, one of the things I love is at the top, it's actual incorrect measurements, and I, I actually went through over it with my Sharpie. And then at the bottom, it's not actual incorrect measurements. If you measure at the bottom, it's slightly off, so that if you make a box lid, it's slightly bigger than the box bottom that you can make at the top. It's really great. Okay. Okay, here we go. Then let's just fold these guys up. Let me swap out my stylus for a bone folder. All right. And I think that will be it for today, you guys. I know I wasn't super productive in the sense of like getting journal done, but uh, I was in the sense of knowing where I'm heading and what I would like to accomplish before my next video. And so that I hope that you guys will come along for this journey in making this very fun journal. I mean, uh, Joey Cardmaker obviously made just the most fun graphics to make this darling fall journal. And before I go, let me watch yourselves. I'm gonna just show you a picture of this glorious kitty here. My beans, my silver beans. He is just such a love muffin and I adore him and I'm so grateful for him and all my animals and especially my family. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.